So today, we're constructing the mid-segment of a triangle using a compass. But before we do the construction, let's sketch a picture so we know what we're talking about here. So here's a little triangle over here. The mid-segment of a triangle. So the mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. For example, if this is the midpoint of this side, and this is the midpoint of this side, we connect those two midpoints right there, and that's a mid-segment, all right? And so that's what we're gonna construct here. And notice there's three different possible mid-segments of a triangle, right? Because we also have a midpoint over here too. So here's another mid-segment right there. And if you connect these two midpoints, here's another mid-segment right there. So there's three different mid-segments that are possible in a triangle, all right? So it's important that when you're constructing your mid-segment, make sure you're constructing the one that they're asking for. In this case right here, we're just gonna construct the mid-segment of the triangle from this midpoint to this midpoint. All right, so we're going to have to start by finding the midpoint of each of the sides. So let's start with this side because it's shorter. To find the midpoint, I'm gonna construct the perpendicular bisector of that side. So start with my compass, more than half the length of this segment right here. And from one vertex of the triangle, I'll swing an arc above and one below. Now I'll take that same compass setting and on the other vertex of the triangle, swing an arc above and below. And now where the two arcs intersect here and here, that is gonna determine my perpendicular bisector. There it is. And I just found the midpoint of the side of the triangle right here. There's my midpoint right there. All right, so one midpoint down, one to go. Now to the other side, set the compass to more than half the length of the side of the triangle. Swing an arc above, and then one below. Switch to the other vertex. And again, same compass setting above and below. And now I know where my perpendicular bisector is gonna go from here to here. There we go. And I just found the midpoint of this side now, right here. Okay, so I have the two midpoints. Now to construct the mid segment, all I do is use my straight edge and just connect the two midpoints together. There it is. That is my mid-segment. And I should probably mark this. This is a midpoint over here, so I'll mark these two sides congruent. This is the midpoint over here, so these two sides are congruent. And boom, I'm done. Mid-segment constructed. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.